So for a dozen years now, the volunteers and ambassadors of Carry the Load have taken their Memorial Day message on the road. And as five teams inch closer on their journeys to Dallas, they say their motivation to spread that message remains as strong as ever. Joining us this morning is Aaron Rigby, a Navy veteran and a board member for Carry the Load. Good morning to you, Aaron. Morning. Hi, thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, for those watching, can you tell us the mission of Carry the Load? Yeah, absolutely not. It's, it's a nonprofit organization that we founded to provide active ways to really celebrate our heroes, remember the fallen, educate our communities a bit on the true meaning of Memorial Day. Um, and, and we've been doing it for about 14 years now. And it's been a great uh, uh, it's been a great organization. It's thankfully culminating with our, our events here in Dallas this weekend. You know, this holiday weekend is a time to honor our fallen servicemen and women. How can people do that? A, a lot of ways. You, you can do that by just remembering the reason for Memorial Day to begin with. It's it, it, We felt it, get, it got lost a bit among the the sales and the um, and the, and the the other things that people do on Memorial Day and, and the message and the real meaning behind recognizing our fallen heroes uh, wasn't being celebrated the right way. And so we're trying to provide active ways to do that. And we have a great event starting on Sunday at Revachon Park here in Dallas um, that allows uh, upwards of 10 to 15,000 people will come out and find ways to celebrate heroes, um, not only our veterans, but also first responders, fire and police as well. Yeah, I was just going to say, y'all usually have a huge turnout at the park. Um, what can people expect this year? It's a, it's a great event. It's a kid-friendly event. Everyone is welcome. Like I said, we usually have upwards of 10 to 15,000 people. There'll be live music. And really just providing a community and an opportunity for people to get together to celebrate Memorial Day. There will be recognition of, 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 of veterans and first responders that have fallen the line of duty. You can learn about them. You can learn about other organizations that we support that, that provide other, uh, other benefits in the veterans community, um, whether it be through rehabilitation, whether it be through training scholarships. There's a lot of organizations that we also focus at this event as well. And, and it's, a, it's a really, it's a really fun time. Uh, a, a lot going on. And who are you carrying? Tell us that I, story. I'm carrying Matt Shubza. He's a friend of mine that I served with who uh, died wow. in a plane crash in a training accident a long time ago. And, and he's uh, from the Dallas area and somebody that I still think about. And certainly one of the reasons why I'm still passionate about Carry the Load. Yeah, and Aaron, thank you for your service as well. You know, for people who are, who are new to North Texas and they don't know what this turnout can really be like, you know, I've been out there one or two times and there's just a lot of camaraderie, camaraderie out there. You don't have to be a part of the military family to join and, and go out there. Exactly right. Whether you are a veteran, a family of a veteran, or don't know a veteran, I right. think it provides a really great opportunity to celebrate Memorial Day the right way. And, and you're right, you can find friends, meet new friends, and find the reasons why we're doing this. You're absolutely right. Aaron, before we go here, can we just put that information out there one more time? Absolutely, sir. Revachon Park, um, which is near downtown Dallas, uptown, along the Katy Trail. Um, opening ceremonies on Sunday are at 3.30. The gates open at noon. A host of events, activities, um, very fun things to do. And it goes all night. It goes Sunday all the way into Memorial Day with the yep. closing ceremonies at 11.30 on Monday morning. All right, Aaron, thank you for everything that you and your team does. I mean, it, this is no easy feat to put on. Thank you. Thank you for having us. No, I, I, it's a, it's a, it certainly is a team effort. There's a lot of people behind the scenes that do a lot of things a to lot make of this work. work. Yeah. Thank you. Straight